very good morning students today we are going to discuss about uh, number systems you know generally the number systems uh, are binary octal and then decimal hexadecimal these are the uh, number systems which we practically apply correct and uh, the number systems radix you no know, for binary it is 2 so the range or 0 and only by you no know, 2 so all the number systems starts from 0 see here even if it is a octal binary or decimal or hexadecimal all the number system should start at 0 so according to their radix the number will go so for octal number system uh, it will go from 0 to 7 for decimal number system it go from 0 to 9 the last number is 9 so in all the number system we expect numbers uh, to be in as a single digit correct So in hexadecimal, no, there is a 16 base or radix is 16. So 0 to 15, but we need a single digit for 10 to 15. For that, 0 to 9 is usually represented. For a, no, it it is uh, this letter is represented for 10. Similarly, b is for 11, 12, 13, 14, and f is for 15. Okay, so now we write fifteen. It is having two digit. In hexadecimal, we need to represent in a single digit. That that's why we included the alpha num alpha characters. Okay, alphabetic characteristics. And the conversion systems usually we have decimal to any radix conversion or any radix. I have given both side correct. Either we can have decimal to radix or any radix to decimal. We can able to. convert similarly binary to octal or octal to binary binary to hexadecimal and vice versa octal to hexadecimal and vice versa and one radix to any any radix these are the things we are planned to discuss uh, we are going to discuss about any radix to decimal conversion correct uh, for that it is very fundamental to understand in decimal conversion for example if you are having uh, the number uh, 5 8 Seven five eighty seven point two three. So for this, generally uh, we tell their positions and position value correct. So we call this as ones position correct, and we call this is in uh, tens position correct. The second number is in tens position, and third one is uh, is in hundreds position. Okay. Similarly, it goes on. Ones, tens, hundreds, and then thousands, ten thousand, like that it goes on. The position is based on the powers of the base, correct? Now, if this is a decimal number, so power is ten power zero. First, initially it is ten power zero, and then the second position, ten power zero, is nothing but one. That's why it is called as ones position, correct? Similarly, it is ten power one. What is ten power one, which is equivalent to? Ten, correct. That's why it is named as tens position. It is in tens position, and then it is ten power two. So like that it goes on, correct? You understand this? Like the ten power two is hundred. Like that the numbers are positioned in powers of ten. Ten power zero is one. Ten power one is tens position. Ten power two is hundreds position. Ten power three is thousand position. Like that it goes on, and the. Uh, Digits after the radix point. This is the thing, but radix point. This point is called radix point. Correct. See this one is radix point. After this radix point, we will power ten power minus one reversed. Okay, this one tenth position. Generally, this is called as um, one tenth. This position one tenth, and this is position that one uh, hundredth. Which is nothing but ten power minus one, correct? So the position of this one is, see, the position of this one. How it is named? Ten power minus one. So orders are increasing in the negative. Ten power minus minus one. Like that it goes on. So this is very fundamental to understand for any radix to decimal conversion, correct? So position weight of uh, decimal number system, how it is found out? Seven multiplied by ten power zero is one, correct? So seven. We will say usually it is seven. The position weight of eight, no, is eighty. How it comes? 
8 multiplied by 10 power 1 correct that's why we get it is 80 and position weight of 5 is 500 correct so how the 500 comes means 5 multiplied by 10 power 2 which is nothing but 100 5 into 100 so to find out the position weight what i want to say no we have to multiply these two things correct its position and then corresponding uh, number is to be multiplied correct if you multiply this we will get the positional weight and if you add all the position weight we will get the equivalent decimal number system okay like uh, how we discussed in decimal number system the same thing is to be followed here also it can be a binary to octal or octal to decimal hexadecimal to decimal or any radix to decimal let us discuss first binary to decimal here we are given with this number and we will have uh, these things position as a first row binary value uh, that is our binary number the number is given you know so we will have this as binary number okay the given number is uh, 1011.11 now instead of putting powers of 10 no here the base is 2 no so we have to follow powers of 2 so this is our reference point so 2 power 0 instead of 10 power 0 no here the base is 2 instead of 10 in decimal, uh, decimal number system so 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 these are the positions for the given four digit numbers in the integer part similarly after the radix point we are having the decreasing order t 2 power minus 1 2 power minus 2 like that now the position weights are nothing but 1 multiplied by 1 uh, multiplied by this 2 power 3 correct so this is called position weight what is the answer for this equal to 8 equal to 8 and anything multiplied by 0 is 0 only so 1 into 2 power 1 multiplied by this 2 power 1 2 power 1 is equal to 2 only okay so 1 to power 0 is is its value is 1 so keep the decimal point as a reference here and then 1 into 2 power minus 1 1 multiplied by 2 power minus 1 the uh, which is nothing but 0.5 correct 0 0.5 so this uh, this is 1 multiplied by 2 power minus 2 2 power minus 2 is nothing but 1 divided by 4 so 1 divided by 4 is nothing but 0 0.25 now the equivalent decimal number is obtained by adding the position weights what are the position weights now we are having no um, is equal to is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.25 8 10 0 0.25 okay is equal to 10.75 this is your equivalent decimal number okay previously we have discussed binary to decimal there we used powers of 2 correct see here positions are powers of 2 because the base is 2 now in octal to decimal no the positions are represented by powers of 8 because its base is 8 correct now i have given with this number 4507.17 again i have to write the position weight as i already told we have to multiply the number and its position correct so position weight of this one is 4 multiplied by 8 cube is uh, 512 so 512 clear yeah. then position weight of this part is 5 multiplied by 64 and position weight is 0 and this one is 7 8 power 0 or anything power 0 is 1 only which is equal to 7 then we have to move to this block 1 multiplied by 8 power minus 1 which is nothing but 1 divided by 8 correct then it is 7 divided by 
7 into 8 power minus 2 so 8 power minus 2 when it comes to denominator 8 square correct so we'll get this as 64 now what we do we have to add all the positional weights correct so what are the position weights we will add here is equal to 4 multiplied by 512 is equal to 2048 then plus uh, 5 multiplied by 64 we have to do correct it is 320 plus 0 correct then plus 7 plus 8 uh, 1 divided by 1 um, divided by 8 is equal to 0 0.125 then 7 divided by 64 is uh, plus 0 0.109 now we have to add all the position weight so what we get now plus um, 2048 2048 plus 320 plus 7 plus 0.125 plus 0 0.109 is equal to 2375.234 this is the equivalent number for the given number clear hope is it clear and similarly whatever the number system conversion we have to put the powers of the particular radix so shall we move for the next one for uh, the same thing see here um, we'll move for the third one decimal decimal to hexa decimal to decimal hexa decimal to decimal for that i'll take uh, numbers like that um, f f d a correct then 0 7 so decimal number 0 to 9 hexadecimal decimal means 0 to f correct now i am entering the hexadecimal decimal number first here replace octa octal number by hexa uh, decimal number Hexadecimal decimal number correct so what are the hexa decimal number it is given no uh, f correct then f d a keep the radix point as it is and then it is 0 and the last one is 7 so now we have to replace we will replace these things ok now previously it is octal so we have put it as powers of 8 now it is hexadecimal its radix is 16 correct its radix its radix is 16 so now the things will change slightly we have to replace the number by 16 the powers are now 16 power 3 16 power 2 and 16 power 1 so the positions are changed based on the radix power only correct now 16 power minus 1 and then 16 power minus 2 that's it now here no very interesting thing we know already to represent extra decimal number we are having um, numbers from 0 to f f is equivalent to 15 correct so 15 uh, multiplied by 16 power 3 we have to put 16 uh, power 3 which is nothing but 4096 4096 clear then 16 power square is nothing but uh, 256 so now again f f is to be represented by 15 multiplied by 256 we have to put here and d so a for 10 b for 11 c for 12 d for 13 so 13 multiplied by 16 the next column position weight for the next number position weight is a is for 10 correct 10 multiplied by 16 power 0 anything power 0 is 1 so then 0 uh, multiplied by anything is 0 only then 7 divided by you have to put 7 it is a division correct so we will put it uh, division 7 divided by 6 uh, 256 16 square is nothing but what 256 already have discussed correct so we have to put 
zero point zero two seven. Okay. So finally, we have to add all these things to get your decimal equivalent decimal number. Clear? So this is your uh, third part. Okay. So you know how to add these things. Clear? Then suppose if it is any decimal number system. Suppose instead of uh, uh, decimal number system, no, they are asking you to convert uh, base uh, five to decimal number system. Base five means the number will come in the range zero to four only. So I'll change this zero to four only. One zero three four point zero four, for example. And base five means the base will be here five. Clear? Now I'll put the number here. So instead of uh, hexadecimal, now I have put some different number system. Correct? What is that? Mm, base five. Okay. Base five number system is I have taken. For that, what are the numbers is given? One zero three four, and we are having a decimal point. Then zero, then four. Then the positions now instead of sixteen, what we will get? Five powers. Correct? Five cube. So positions are changed now. Powers of five. Okay. See here, five power one and five power zero because this is a base five number system. So like this, we can convert uh, any number system into decimal system by replacing the corresponding powers of their bases. Okay. Then the position weight one multiplied by Our uh, five cube is one twenty five, correct? Then it is zero. Then three multiplied by five. Uh, then four multiplied by one because anything power zero is one, correct? Then we'll move here. Zero multiplied by anything zero. Then four divided by five square. Five power minus two is nothing but um, five square, correct? So four uh, divided by shall we put this as twenty five. So four divided by twenty-five. Okay. Now the answer we know here. Decimal number is nothing but adding the position weight. What is the first position weight? One twenty-five. Correct. Plus zero plus fifteen plus four plus zero plus. Then the last thing is four divided by twenty-five. We'll get point one six. So what is the answer? Final answer is. Hmm, one forty-four point one forty-four point one six. This is the final answer for uh, base five to decimal number. So, like this, we can convert any radix into decimal number system. Again, the keyword is positions are these positions are to be changed by the powers of the particular base. Okay, thank you all.